What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 351 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Ball series. On the previous episode we had 4 balls, we won 3, we lost 1, and that took us to 728 wins, 320 defeats, a 408 game differential. We're aiming for, I think, 750 wins and 425 game differential by the end of the series. So hopefully we'll get 3 wins today to help us towards that goal. But let's get underway with ball number one, guys, and let's get that first win. Okay, guys, on to battle number one, and we lead with the Thunderous Therian form versus the Blaziken. Now, question is, does Thunderbolt one-shot? Probably not. It does more than him power flying, though. We're gonna go for it. He does go for the Protect. That kind of sucks. Now, is he gonna go Stone Edge, or is he gonna go Flare Blitz? We are choice spec, so I think this may actually kill. Regirock can't switch in on a Thunderbolt. I'll tell you that much. Not immune to it. It's more physically bulky than it is specially bulky. Arcanine, I would say, can't really switch into it. Yeah, that's still 2 hit kill. We'll get the para. Not the full para, and that doesn't take me out. We do get burned though, so we only have one turn left. And he's just going to stall me out here with Protect. So what I'm going to do is go out into Waylord. You can get, you can do Protect, that's fine. Let's go for a Hydro Pump. Hydro Kick unfortunately crits and takes our Waylord. We needed that so we could take him out. Are you kidding me? Why has he got to get the crit? I'm pretty sure a high jump kick wouldn't kill a Waylord in one hit. Zatu's coming in. To two hit KO. That's pretty decent damage. Hmm. You have magic bounce. That's annoying. Let's go explode. Gonna go reflect. That's okay. Let's go for a Boom Burst. Take out the Zatu. And this is going to come in, unfortunately, and we don't have a method of taking it out. Unless he misses. I think we just go out into Weezing. That's a Protect. It's fine. You have to Flare Blitz me if you want to kill. Does my opponent want me to take out his entire team? We only have to kill, we only have to live. He's gonna flare blitz, is the problem. Uh, we should just sack off Executor, I think. Let's do that. It's fine, take yourself out. I'm going to go Weezing. It's going to go Haxorus. That's a bit of a problem. That's Willow. It's going to get the Lumberry. It's annoying. It's Protect. It's going to sub. Are you kidding me? I need to sludge bomb now, that means. Haxorus isn't that big a problem as long as we can actually take it out. Because with just Sword Stance, it's not going to outspeed many things. Although it does. Actually, it doesn't outspeed X Ray, and Ice Beam should take it out. Boom Burst or Ice Beam? Ice Beam doubles to 180, Boom Burst goes to 10, so go Boom Burst. That doesn't kill. And Outrage is going to take Exploud out. That's a bit unfortunate. He's going to get the Confusion. That's good. And I think we go Superior. And we go for a Leaf Storm. Get the Special Attack Raise. We know he's going to Protect. So I don't know what I do here. I guess I go Glare just in case. He didn't protect. 
Oh, ho, ho. you can protect this turn and win the game, though. That's really it gets fully powered. Am I gonna take him out? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was such a clutch player. That glare, he should have protected. He so should have protected. He would have outsped after the speed boost. Oh, he got greedy. He tried to take me out first turn and it cost him the game. Well, actually, not really. The paralysis on that turn cost him the game, actually. He was going for a protect, which would have mean meant that I went down to the burn. So you, it, it, Hax was going to decide that ball either way. It was either going to be I go down to a burn, which I believe... Oh, no, it was from a will... No, it wasn't from a will o -Wisp, was it? It was from a Brave Bird, a, a Flare Blitz, I think. Yes, it was. So it was going to be hacks either way. It was going to either be the Para Hacks or the Burn Hacks, whichever way. But we did manage to somehow pick a winner up there. And that's going to get us a win in battle number one. Let's get on to battle number two, guys. Okay, guys, on to battle number two. We lead with a Golem versus a, a Lowland Executor. Let's Stealth Rock first turn. It's gonna leaf storm. I have sturdy. No other special attack for that. We're gonna cuss that berry explode now. Something is taking a lot of damage now. Unless he goes out into a steel type. So explode on the executor. It goes quite low, although the harvest helps him out a bit. Uh, we will just go Ferramosa. Because nothing wants to take a U-turn. Nothing. Although Ice Beam may be a bad play. Let's go Ice Beam. I'm gonna go out into Deoxy's defense, so the U-turn would have been amazing. So we'll go U-turn now. It's gonna kill the Deoxy's defense. We get the speed boost, but it doesn't matter because we're forced to switch out. Let's go Bishop. I did go Ice Beam because I had forgotten that he was part Dragon there. It's gonna be Mega Pinsir, isn't it? It's going to Sword Stance. Does Mega, Mega Pinsir does outspeed, it's a problem. Um, let's go Snorlax. It's probably got close combat. He is gonna close combat. Take me out with the critical hit. That really sucks. Why are all these critical hits happening? Now the problem is he has quick attack. So I cannot risk. I cannot risk going for anything. Realistically, let's go ancient power. It'll definitely kill. Be so nice if he... I was gonna say if we got the boost. Oh, you're going to get that mid-turn. Oh no, the Citrus Berry restored, yeah. Okay, so we can Fire Blast now. I'm not sure why Lolan Executor is going to do, it's going to do that, which did a lot of damage, I'll give him that, but not enough to kill Mega Camerot. And a Darkrai is going to come out. Let's go for a Nala Fire Blast. Dark Pulse not going to be enough. Fire Blast going to kill the Darkrai, so Camerot putting in serious work here. Killing a Darkrai is huge. It didn't get the chance to put me to sleep, although I don't know if it would have a uh, Dark Void on it anymore because of the nerf to Dark Void. Hurricane obviously going to take me out. Compound Eyes coming in huge for my opponent there. Do we go for Amosa and go for the pretty obvious Ice Cube? I think I have to. Let's go for it. It is Expert Bell boosted. The problem is, I know I'm going down to a quick attack from the Mega Pinsa. I'm confident for a most I can kill. Why would you come in? 
I know you're trying to bait me to stay. You have quick attack on Pin, so you have to. I think we can win with Sucker Punch. So it doesn't re really matter if Faramosa goes down now or if it goes down later. Let's go Bishop. Let's go for a Sucker Punch. Take out the Mega Pinsa and win game number two. So, I'm not sure if my opponent had Sword Stance, but it probably wouldn't have mattered if he had set up because I would have got around it eventually. But that is going to be the end of battle number two, guys. Let's go on to the third and final battle of today's episode. Okay, guys, final battle of the day, and we're going to lead with the Luxury versus the Ditto Luxury. And I think we just go for a Crunch first turn. We're Flame Orb Guts. Yeah, let's go Crunch. He's going to Crunch, get a critical hit, of course, of course. Why would you get the critical hit? I'll go for Sard now. He's in a bad situation because he has Guts, but I have the burn. He doesn't. So unless he gets another lucky critical hit, which he isn't going to get, we're going to take him out with Facade. Fortunately, Luxray not particularly fast. If I was my opponent, I would have kept the uh, Ditto around. It can be very helpful. We are going to Super Power. Thank you. That was exactly why I Super Powered instead of going for a Volt Switch. Because the Volt Switch would, wouldn't have helped me, really. Where Madame's gonna come in? We'll just go for a... Is he going to try and bait me and go out into Kabutox? No. Doesn't kill. Only does half. Well, Madame is surprisingly bulky. I suppose I did have minus one attack. But that balances out to plus one, I think, overall. Let's go superior, because we have the HP fire. It should easily take out the Wormadam. Very nice. And Kabutops, I would say, doesn't really want to switch in on a superior. Throw? Maybe. Let's go for a Leaf Storm. I mean, it's the most damage we're going to get off on the throw. Even if we don't get to use the boost because of a Circle Throw yet. He's going to bulk up. Oh, he's Guts. That's kind of why I didn't want to go Glare. We're going to miss the Leaf Storm, and that's going to not cost us Superior. That actually helps us, kind of. Because it got rid of Life Orb, which was only going to hinder us. But I would have preferred to have had Life Orb and had an extra 60% health. Let's go for a Hint of Fire. Should be... It's not going to be a one-hit kill, I don't think. No, it's not. Plus, I'm going to try and put us to sleep. I'm immune because I'm a grass type. So, a bit of a misplay on my opponent's part there. And I think we have this in the bag, assuming no Aqua Jet on the Kabuto. Although Aqua Jet is almost certainly going to be on the Kabutops. So it's going to come out. Actually, does it get sturdy? It doesn't. We may have a Focus Sash. Or we may miss. No, we're going to hit. We're going to connect. He's no Focus Sash. We're going to get to max special attack and we're going to win battle number three, guys. That's going to be it for today. We take our win loss ratio from up to 731 wins. 320 defeats a 411 game differential slowly but surely making our way up the ladder and yeah if you've enjoyed guys make sure to smash the like button hit subscribe as well and from me Corvus thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye